Now, where does this come from? Like we, we clearly were a Japanese company. Does this come from Japan? It's an interesting, interesting story behind all of that. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. And where it starts from is actually not Japan, which is kind of funny. Uh, the probiotic or the, uh, the bacteria has been used around the world to create ferments for longer than we have probably even been on this planet. Um, the bacteria has been around in the soil, which is very cool. When they talk about eating handfuls of soil, it's this bacteria that we're after. So very cool stuff. But where, where does it come from? In the other parts of the world, they've used different legumes and seeds and other things to ferment with this bacteria. But it wasn't until they started in Japan using soybeans in this bacteria that this product was really developed. So this is the highest nutrient dense product you can create with Bacillus subtilis. Uh, the other variations of it don't even come close. They don't create the vitamin K2. They don't create natokinase. So there's a lot of different things that aren't happening in those other variations. So once it hit Japan, which we have about 930 years of written history in Japan about natto and over 3,000 years of verbal history. So let's say, let's say 900 years ago when it's really started in Japan, uh, the story goes that there was a great battle between two, two armies and uh, they had battled all day and it was nighttime, they were taking a break, they were going to feed the horses that had been boiling soybeans all day and the opposing army attacked them one more time. And so in that moment, they threw the soybeans in some straw, wrapped it up, put it on their horses and rode away, get out of there. A couple days later, the brave souls opened that up to find these sticky beans. And they, they fed them to the horses and the horses responded so well. They thought, well, if the horses did so well, how about us? And they tried it and they, they felt the energy too. They responded so well to it that they started feeding it to their army and they actually won the war from, from that. So that's the story behind it many, many years ago. But as that's developed, what, we, what we're seeing is the benefits of the clean energy and the probiotics in, in our human body with that. So that's sort of the history of it, goes back very far. To me, I think the cool part is this bacteria comes from the soil and, uh, and that's where it really originates from. Bacillus subtilis is traditionally called a hay bacteria or straw bacteria. But one of the things that I've recently learned, which is really cool, is that it's also very prevalent in sage, in our garden, in our herbs. So in fact, uh, we could do this fermentation with leaves from our, from our herbs, some sage leaves on top of the soybeans, and we could generate natto as well. For us being a commercial uh, maker of this, we have to have a guaranteed amount of that bacteria in there, so it wouldn't work for a commercial purpose. But it could be something fun to try and experiment at home, is using some different, uh, using the sage leaves to, to make natto.